People have taken advantage of this incredible engineering of something called a converter bench. 4,000 of them in just this program alone. Why? Take a look. Look at that. It's a park bench that's easily moved, but when you flip it, which takes about a second or two, it becomes half a picnic table. The assembly is so simple, the whole thing weighs in at just 34 pounds. By the way, this year's model, which you're seeing, you're the first people to see it. It's not out there anywhere. And when it comes out, it's gonna be priced at $199. Our price tag today is $129.98. It's bigger, it's lighter in weight. We've got six colors, and I'm talking a lot with my hands today. Have you noticed that? That's okay, Dan, it's, it, it's, <laughs> it's a long day. How are you, my friend? Good I'm to see great. you. This is Jeff Meyer. Uh, Jeff and I have known each other for years. Yeah. Jeff represents some of the top tier brands for outdoor patio and garden. And this is a classic example. This is an American company. They're based right outside of Denver. That's correct. Uh, I know the owner. Made in America. Yep. And you and I every year, we're at the National Hardware Show. This team is dedicated in, in bringing you brilliant engineering. We've got six colors, three of which you can't find anywhere. Right. You won't find them at garden centers. You won't find them online anywhere except for here. And we're going to run through those and we'll show you why a converter bench just makes sense. 130,000. 130,000. QVC customers have picked one up in the past. Yeah. And in 15 years, it hasn't changed except for the original is made out of redwood, but there were a lot of splinters problems. It was heavy. Right. This material here is better. It is maintenance free for virtually the lifetime you have it. This is our platinum. Look how beautiful this is. When I flip it up, you're gonna see it be, look at those striations. These are all embedded into the product as it comes out. This is not a silk screen, it's not a picture on it. It actually is extruded in. Now when I flip it up, it becomes a picnic table. That's our platinum, That's it looks nice. like an aged teak. Beautiful, yeah. right? As you're watching this, I want you to imagine each one of these holds up to 1,200 pounds. Yeah. If you're of a grander size, how much, how much is out there in the world of patio furniture that's comfortable for you? 1,200 pounds. Yep. So that's all the burgers in the world, potted plants. That, that's people use them four for and a half of me could be standing on yep. that. Then we go to our white birch. This one really, the pop of color you get here from again, every one of these is different. The way this is done, this was years in the making to get this wood tone right. We went year after year till we got it right and you can see it right there. Yep. Looks fantastic, goes from a bench to a table. That color, by the way, is one of the three exclusive colors to QVC so far. And then right here, what we have is our driftwood. And that is also, also an exclusive too, color. Dan. Yep. But look again, it's all those striations. There it is. It's a bench, something you use every day. You put t two of them together. What you're gonna end up is I, having a great picnic table. I like that. Here, our Sierra Timber, mm -hmm. this is really, should just be called Redwood. It has that beautiful Redwood look. Look at that. When you even come in close, you say, well, that's real Redwood. No, it's not. It's the converter bench. It's virtually indestructible. You're not gonna be able to stain it. All you have to do is hose it off. And then we have two, for the people that don't want that wood look, we have the tan. Really the, nice. The tan is, a, is the third color that's exclusive. Right. Okay. So, and then we have the white. Now, then we have the white, which this is not the original. All. The original, no. by the way, there's so many of you out there that bought the original converter bench, what, 10 years ago? Yes, that's uh, about right. And I want to talk to any of you. If you've had yours for 10 years, five years, eight years, what have you. <clears throat> Call us. You want to have a seat? Yeah, let, you know what? This is my favorite way to use the converter bench. Dan and I are going to sit here. Maybe I just came over to Dan's house and just he said, hey, out. by the way, we have this great conversation pit. Uh, you could even have a fourth. You know what that would mean? You could have a dozen adults sitting around. Right. You probably have 16, 18 kids. But what happens is you say, boy, it's getting near dinner time. Dan's fired up the grill. Yeah. Hopefully he's cooking something I want to eat. And then all we have to do is get up yeah. and flip these together. And, and we've got you're going to have seating for nine adults, but tables. what we're going to have is seating for nine adults that is not is not that we're not all looking at each other. This you know what this reminds me of one of those big conference room tables. Yeah. yeah. So we'd all be able to be talking, talking here, talking to someone there, and we'll be able to eat, enjoy what's in the middle, whether it's a fire pit, maybe it's a beautiful fountain, anything. The kids could be playing little babies on the ground while you're reading. You're keeping an eye on them. Jeff. This is, I, I hate to put it there, the furniture is great. It's wonderful. Yeah. It's the experience that you will have with it yes. that changes things. We live Our in this childhood. day and an age 
You and I grew up yeah. where people did this really weird thing. It was called talking to each other. <laughs> Instead of cell phones, and we were always picking on emojis and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, nowadays, kids, this is how they talk. And they don't go outdoors anymore. Good place to do their homework, right here. Do it outside. Yes. Get some fresh air. Enjoy the outside. And you can convert this in seconds. Anybody can do it and it becomes a really comfortable bench. I, Jeff and I were on earlier. There you go. And Jeff and I live on uh, farms, and it's funny. Rural, rural farm. Your farm is in one state, mine's in a different yes. state. I, keep, I like it that way. And it's, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing how similar they are. And he and I had both bought wooden benches for yeah. our pond. With metal sides. And, and I love those benches, they were great. For one year, the following summer, the wood had started to rot. It needed to be sanded. The wrought iron looked terrible. And I was thoroughly disgusted by the fact that I had thrown my money away. I've got one of the original converted benches from 10 years ago. And all I will do this spring when it warms up a little bit is power wash it. That's all you do. And, and we use it again. I grew up in Indiana with these. And by the way, why was every picnic table maroon in color. Well, because it was supposed to look like redwood. That, oh. They were trying to mimic that. Well, when you grow up in Indiana, you don't see a lot of redwood trees. But here's why wood is bad. Right here, this is capillary action. It's been sucking the water up on this. So you see it's rotting from the bottom. Now, as I tilt it, take a look at what grows on it. It's gotten rickety. The metal's starting to rust. And when I get to the top here, I couldn't even, if I rubbed my hand don't across this, I'm not kidding, I would have Dozens of splinters. Can I, can I tell you something? You yeah. know why I don't want you to rub your hand across that? Yeah. Because as a child, I, I rub something else Did across you do it. something? Oh, yeah. Your, your bottom. That's oh, no yeah. good, Dan. Oh, yeah. But when this water gets in wood, it raises the grain. That's why I can feel the grain this way. And when the grain raises, it creates splinters. That's why with the converter bench, you will never find a splinter. There's not a nail. There's not a staple. There's not a screw. There's just four bolts in the bottom that hold it together. Like I said, 10 to 15 minutes put together, and it's there for a lifetime. And it, it it's better engineering. But no maintenance too, yeah. Dan. This every year you're supposed to stand and work on. Well, this is the new and improved what a bench and a converted bench. And you call it whatever you want. And the, but they, the old version was great, but this is even better. Uh, it's, the original, it's night and day. The original on the left, notice how it had truly an A-frame design. You see the letter A? Yes. And everything was somewhat stark square lines. Now it's much more refined. You'd use the analogy it's kind of like the St. Louis Arch. Yeah, that's, it's the arch uh, like you would see St. Louis Arch or on Beautiful engineering. This is the original. Yeah. This one at a price tag of one twenty nine ninety eight, not two hundred, is bigger. You can see the size difference right less. there. Weighs less. Look at the size difference. That means when you have it as a picnic table, first of all, as a half picnic table, way bigger. When you put two together, this is something the customers asked about. They said we'd like a little more surface space. Yeah. But let me show you when I flip this back. What this means is more comfort, Dan, yep. because that's where your back goes. So when I sit down, I'm better supported. It's more comfortable. So the design made it what? Lighter, bigger. It's, it's really amazing. It's all about the engineering. When I flip yeah. this guy around, I want you to take a look at that from the front. You can barely see the bar that really helps it to hold 1,200 pounds. Right. This guy here, Look underneath there. That was part of the problem. With this, this old new one, watch this. I'm gonna shove that water underneath. So now you can store things on your deck under the converter bench, the old one. I, you don't even come close. Yeah. And that was one of the problems. So the new one, every, all the design actually has function. The form gives function. So now you can put things underneath and get things out of the way. It just got, it got better and better and better. And this becomes the true conversation place. All these new features tested to hold 1,200 pounds. What patio furniture holds that much? Yeah, you know, nothing. Like I said, I've seen ladders that only hold 250 pounds. Yeah. I shop chairs, 250, 275, 225, 1,200 pounds. Indoor, outdoor use, you're going to bring it indoors, whether it's just Thanksgiving and Christmas when you use it as a buffet server, possibly. Wipes clean. I'll show you that in a moment. Made in the USA, really proud of that. Uh -huh. Easy assembly, 10 to 15 minutes, one time, and you're done. The newly designed table legs all have function. It's not just a look, it's a better product. 
and a five-year warranty. Where do you get five-year warranties there? We talked about it earlier. You rarely see anything like that, but that's how well designed and made this is. Again, I, I want your phone calls, and I'll tell you why. The, the reaction has been wonderful. This has been a customer top-rated brand at QVC since virtually day one. That's it. But where else can you find something that converts from that wonderful park bench-like seating area right. now to half a picnic table? Look how and, great that is. And the half a picnic table allows you to decide which way you're going to view. So mine resides on my deck up against the railing where the yeah. best view is on the farm. Right, not at your house. Yeah, not staring Looking at the house, out. staring out, which I couldn't do. And there was, I didn't have room for a full-size picnic table. Plus at my house, it's just Kelly and myself. Right. I, I think it's fantastic. The colors are wonderful. This is platinum. the platinum. And it's got this rich aged teak look. In fact, when you look at it, all it, of it these It looks wood like the grains, weathered wood that you would see in like Martha's Vineyard. Absolutely correct. And when you look at it closely, you say, this may have been stained to have that Martha's Vineyard look. They have that gray, bluish yep, look. Yep. That's what you have here. Uh, you know, every time I look at it, everyone is different. This is extruded in as it comes out of the mold. Look how beautiful that is. This is not a silk screen or something like that. And Fantastic. I had not noticed that, Jeff. And funny, I, until you pointed it out, but you're right. This plank is different. They're all different than that one, than that one, in terms of what that, that grain pattern is. That's part of what gives it a wonderful sense and, of and being more realistic. And it gives it a realism. Realistic. If every yeah. plank looked the same, you'd be going, wait yeah. a minute, I wasn't it, born yeah. yesterday. Every, every, every plank looks much. exactly the same. But it's actually a superior material, superior material. than wood. No splinters, no So that's the no dripped wood. This is the birch, the birch. right here, this the is white the birch, birch. Which is one of the exclusive colors to QVC that you will not find anywhere else in the marketplace this season at all. And again, you can see on the back right here, just look how beautiful all this is. When you really get up close, you go, well, that's real wood, that's real wood. That's what took years in the making. I went through, we went through so many samples where we said, that's not, and QVC, by the way, said, uh-uh, that doesn't look good enough, doesn't look like real wood. This is nice. This is the driftwood. So what you have here is that aged kind of driftwood, something that would have washed up on the beach, has been sitting out maybe in the sun, and it's got this beautiful, beautiful wood grain on it also. And then here we have Sierra Timber, which it looks like redwood. Even as we come in close, it really looks like redwood. You'll even see, see how different, this is like a knot in here. There's so many different looks when they make this and they're all individual, fantastic. And then we go to the basics, tan. Now, that tan color is a QVC exclusive. And let me point something out about this material, if I may. Sure. Because the last color is the white. We've all seen those white resin chairs sure. that when you sit in them, they're wobbly, even when they're brand new. They, that is not, they, not the same material yeah. as this. If you've ever seen that, those white plastic fences, yep. that's not the same material. This will hold 1,200 pounds. Now, those ones you see at the checkout counter, I have seen people at parties go down on them. Yeah, they sit yeah. in them, a leg goes in the ground, or they just collapse, the legs go out. Dan and I are probably like going 450, 500 pounds between the both of us up here, and it can hold <laughs> more than double this. Yeah, easy. It's, which is fantastic. Uh, it's, it's a great item, and it brings to you a place to sit, yeah. relax. Better yet, a place for people to talk. How about groups of people to get together? Right. And when you put two of them together, you've got that full-size picnic table that you and I remember growing up on. Nowadays, it's a little different. Nowadays, patios have become, you know, these posh places. They really have. You know, oh, wine and cheese. Pardon pardon me. Feel free to <laughs> feel free to fall down, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. No, I stayed on my feet. Now, right here, we have it as a picnic table. It's set up for like maybe an elegant party. That's why I say you yeah. will use this in the house because when you have a lot of people over, maybe it's a graduation party. Whatever you're doing, you don't have enough room inside. That looks fantastic inside. Now, next to what's here, I have some Roberta's flowers. They use the converter bench to oh. show their flowers on air. Now, look at it this way. One on the ground, one on the seat, one on the top. You may want to do this with all your flowers. Just put it up against the house and display everything you've got. We've had shop owners who yeah. purchase it. This, the whole unit weighs 34 pounds, which is very, very lightweight. Right. So we get, I get the emails from shop owners who say that they put them out in front of their shop as their way of being able to display 
whatever their wares or goods are. And then again, we have our conversation nice. pit that automatically becomes <laughs> the dining area. Or maybe oh. you're laying back and the kids are doing their homework. Or maybe your spouse is on the computer. On It's not in your lap, it's up top. Whatever you're drinking, whatever you're doing, maybe you're reading. 